what's going on everyone? Over the past year, I've spent countless days on the beach. So many of those days were spent looking for the right conditions. A giant school of bait right on the beach, surrounded by some huge feeding fish. When I finally found those conditions, I had one goal. I wanted to land my biggest tarpon ever from the sand on a lure. Sometimes I felt like I was driving myself crazy while chasing this goal. Tons of early mornings, driving for hours and hours just because I heard a simple rumor, and thousands and thousands of casts. Throughout the journey, I found myself asking, what are you gonna do if you invest all of this time, all of this energy, and still come up short? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. After multiple weeks of scouting, I finally found something that looked pretty promising. A nice sunrise on the beach with a bunch of birds diving on a big school of bait. I really did like my chances at a big hookup. You know guys, sometimes I forget how awesome it is that I get to come out here and do this. See sights like this, literally got this shoreline to myself, amazing sun, sunrise, some fish out in front of me. Even if I don't catch anything, man, it's just a gorgeous day. Look. Got thumped casting out here. What we got? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a snook. Definitely not a tarpon, but a nice thump. I loosen the drag just a little bit. Come on in, buddy. It's a nice fish. Not tarpon like. Oh, yeah, it's a nice snook. Come on in, bro. Oh yeah. Nice, beautiful beach snook. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful beach snook. Really stoked on that guy. Never caught, over the years, never really caught that many beach snook. But beautiful fish, gonna get this fish released now. Okay, okay, okay. We are back in action off of that snook. Caught that fish on the five inch NLBN, one ounce head and a purple five inch body. Let's see if we can pop a tarpon or a snook or anything else. That fish ate it off the top. Almost never get snook bites like that. It's almost always tarpon, but cool to see, especially with the amount of seaweed that's been out here this morning. I was worried I wasn't gonna get any bites. Just like that. Like every cast, it seems like I will get some seaweed. It's kind of annoying. So I've been throwing this 8 inch NLBN straight tail around. So far, I've had what I'm pretty sure was a tarpon hit it. I'm reeling it on top kind of fast, and the tarpon just came up and took a slash at it, didn't get the hook. And then I just had a snook right here, like kind of close to me in the swell, thumped the crap out of it. I set the hook, he jumped off, but they're eating this thing. The reason I like this eight inch is because you have all these minnows out here, right? But you also have stuff feeding on those minnows. So you have bunker, you have mullet mixed in with the minnows, and you have stuff like ladyfish. And the tarpon will love to eat those bigger baits sometimes. Sometimes they actually key in on those bigger baits. So I like to mix it up, try big presentations sometimes, try a small presentation sometimes. Hopefully we can get that tarpon bite on this guy. I hooked a massive one last time. He just didn't stay buttoned, but uh, we we'll give it a shot. You got a yellowfin tarpon, dude. Just by the way, it's fighting. It's, I don't know, that's heavy for a snook. 400 pound liter? That's not a snook, no way. Oh, I think I might snack a snook. 
Or a shark. Good one, dude. Look at that nice weed trail. Look too heavy. This is the biggest fish I've seen on the beach this year. Unfortunately, on this morning, I had to leave around 9 a.m. I had some prior commitments, but my buddies Drew and Ryan kept fishing hard. By 10.30 in the morning, my buddy Drew sent me a video. Sorry for the quality, it looks like he filmed this on a potato, but my boy Drew finally caught the fish he had been looking for, a stud tarpon from the sand. I'll have to be honest, I was a little bit upset that I had to leave early and my boy was able to catch one, but at the same time, it motivated me to get back out there and fish extremely hard. When I'm chasing these bait schools up and down the beaches, there's times where I might be doing one, two, five, ten miles in a day, going up and down the beach, seeing a bait school, running to it, fishing it, then seeing another one, trying that next one, seeing another one, trying that next one. So for me, live bait is really out of the question. Sometimes I'm doing a two mile walk just to get to the school of fish that I want to fish. And to do that from the sand with like a buck, five gallon bucket with a couple mullet in it, it's just unfeasible. So that's why I like to throw a lot of lures. And that's why I'm happy to say that today's video is actually sponsored by No Lie Bait Needed NLBN. So I'm gonna show you guys why I like these lures so much and why they are my preferred lure for fishing for all these big beach fish. The things that I look for in a good jig head for throwing swim baits. Does it have a good hook? Is the hook sharp? and does it have a screw lock? So you can catch these fish and you can do these things with tons of different swim baits. But from my experience, casting hard, day in, day out, trying to cast as far as you possibly can, if you don't have this screw lock here, you're really gonna be losing a lot of baits because the baits just tend to slip down the hook and you're gonna be changing constantly. That's why I'm a big fan of NLBN and I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by NLBN. So all of their, everything on their site is gonna be 15% off using my code Ryan15 only for this weekend. So I'm posting this video probably Thursday-ish, Friday at 8 p.m. My code will work and it's in, conjun in conjunction with their limited batch. So there's gonna be an awesome new colorway for you guys to try out. But again, it's only for this weekend. A few days later, I took my girlfriend Christina fishing on the beach. Now she's never really done anything like this and it actually, some of you might have already seen this footage in a super popular video, but she was able to hook a stud fish all by herself. I was an easy 200 yards down the beach when I finally saw her hook up. That line tight, that's all you're worried about. Christina's hooked up, yep. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. You did it all by yourself. You're doing perfect, just let it keep doing that. I cannot. You're doing perfect, babe. Real, 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 just keep that line tight. Keep that line tight. I think it's Perfect, yeah, yeah, it is. It's a big snook, too. Did you see it? Yeah, I can just tell by the way it's fighting. There's a shark that like... Yeah, just keep pulling. Just keep that line tight. Remember, pump up, reel down. Now reel down. Reel, reel, reel. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Reel, reel, reel. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, reel, reel. Let's go. Keep going. Stop. Stop your feet. Just reel, 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 reel. 
Real, real, real. All right, now let's walk real, 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 real. Walk real. Yep, tip up, tip up. Real, 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 real. Big snook, babe, big snook. Real, 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 stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Do you see that thing? Do you see that thing? Look at that. That's like a 38 inch snook you caught all by yourself. Oh my God, look at you. Oh my God, that's so amazing. <laughs> Look at the size of that snook you yeah. just caught. Look at the it, size but... of that snook. I, we will. I'm gonna go. We're gonna slide him off. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Wait, Ryan, Thank you. take a picture of it. I am. <laughs> okay, so we have to revive it now. Okay. So come out. Okay. Walk. Okay. We're gonna grab her just by the mouth. Okay. Let go of her gill. Just She's grab that by the mouth. mouth. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna revive her. And there she goes. She just caught a 38 inch snook on artificial off the beach by herself completely. Casting all by herself on the three inch NLBN, <laughs> three inch no lie bait needed. Absolutely crazy. I've, I haven't caught a fish that big on these baits yet. Crushed it. You have to save that because that's gonna be good luck for the rest of your life. Okay. You save that as a little, <laughs> little memento. So awesome and uh, that's, the day's just getting started so hopefully we can catch some more. I think good we're job. gonna catch a tarpon now. Good job, I'm proud of you. <laughs> The next day, I went fishing with my boy Ryan and his friend Stefan. His friend Stefan is from North Carolina, so his Florida fishing experience is very limited. He's never fished for snook or tarpon from the beach, so this was gonna be a, a completely new world to him. I think you got a snook. Nice, dude. Stefan, first fish of the day. Dude, that's so sick. You hit him so hard, you're like, this is it, this is the tarpon. That's a nice snook. Once you land him, I'm gonna go get my big camera and get a cool pick for you. Okay, sweet, thank you. Oh. Oh my god, dude, that's a good one. Dude, that's like a 38 incher. Some video real quick. Alright. Got a video on that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful snook. Dude, that's like a 37 incher on the beach. On the five inch NLBN. Choke it. it. That's your first snook on artificial? Yeah, that is. Awesome, great work. Thank you. Woo! Wow. We got some spunk. That's sick, dude. Great work, Sweet. brother. Thank you. That was so sad. That morning died down pretty quickly, but Stefan and I actually stayed in touch. And over the next few weeks, you know, we've asked each other if we've been seeing any fish. And suddenly, I get a picture of him on the beach with an absolute stud tarpon. This man's never done this before, so I was so stoked that he was able to land his first one. But man, I was sitting there getting antsy, really, really hoping that I was gonna get a shot soon. A few days later, I actually got a call from Stefan, and he said that he and his buddy had found a really big school of bait on a beach that he, I had never fished before. So I dropped everything I was doing, drove down there, and we went on a two and a half to three mile walk to try and find this big school of bait that he supposedly had found. Oh yeah, definitely some fish. You catch anything? Not yet? You You'll get one. Oh my god. I'm getting out here. Got a whole bunch of feeding tarpon in front of me. I'm gonna throw the eight inch NLBN straight tail. See if I can get a bite. Test your drag real quick, guy. Okay, well, it's rougher than I thought it was gonna be. Get excited, you get too close to the waves. You get worked. That was sick. Tommy's hooked up on the first nice fish of the day. Nice snook. 
Pulling him up on the beach. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Look at that thing. Woo! -hoo! This is video. Okay. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Smoked the NLBN five inch. Real, real healthy snook. Gorgeous to see. Man, that's a nice one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm gonna snap a quick pick and uh, get that fish back in the water. It's a little bit over slot. We're in season now, but she's just a bit too big. Nice pick. Back through the seaweed mat. Good work, dude. Thank you. Okay, trying something different. I might regret it. I'm gonna throw the NLBN three inch on my Pen Authority 4500. 20 pound braid, 50 pound leader. Probably just catch jacks, but uh, might hook a big tarpon. There's plenty of like catchable size tarpon on this rod out here, but something about throwing the small rod, you always hook the monster. So we'll see what we can do. Mm. There we go. Got us a jack, I think. Something smaller. Doubled up, dude. Come on now. Oh my God. Oh, lost my jack and lost my tail. I think I already lost my patience for fishing a small bait. <laughs> now this school of bait was a little bit different from anything I've ever seen before when fishing for big tarpon from the beach. It was actually a really tightly packed school of pilchards, literally pilchards. And y'all, I tell you what, I've never seen so many tarpon in a tightly packed area. And that's what made this so extremely frustrating. There were so many fish feeding, we just couldn't seem to be able to get a bite from tarpon. It seemed like we were getting all jacks and all junk. They were, those fish were able to find our baits a lot quicker. Well, there's some toothy critters out there, boys. Yeah. Just clean cut. Probably, nah, probably a Spanish mackerel. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is wicked, did you, on the green? Yeah, I keep like dying it right before the school. And then... Like letting it drop? Yeah. Did you actually like... Well, we got us a jack. I knew if I sized down my bait, I ran the risk of catching these small guys, but oh my God, those tarpon are going nuts. These guys are wreaking havoc on these baits right now. Chill, buddy. Crazy jacks going nuts on all these baits. Something though, we're catching fish. That's why the baits are doing that, is all the jacks. Oh Ooh, my on the bottom. God, Stefan just hooked probably the biggest tarpon we've seen all day. God. The, the first actual confirmed tarpon bite yeah, that I've seen. How is Jane on the bottom? Wow, He's dude. <laughs> That fish went six feet in the air when you hooked him. Yeah, that was the highest I've ever had a tarpon gone. So wicked. God, dude. Oh my God. Over the course of a couple hours, Tommy jumped a couple tarpon, Stefan jumped a couple tarpon, and I finally got my chance. I finally felt that thump that I've been waiting for right on the edge of the school. Set the hook a couple times, fish jumped, and he was gone. I haven't even looked at the GoPro footage, so I don't even know if I have any recording of this, but I felt so upset. Even though I know that's just part of the game with these fish, you know you're gonna jump a bunch before you actually land one. It was just, I'd never felt like I'd worked so hard for a beach tarpon, and for that to end just so quickly, I was very, very disappointed. One evening, Christina and I were driving up and down the beaches, just checking, seeing if we could find anything. And I happened upon a school that had not one angler on it, and it looked like there were tons of big tarpon. After a couple hours of casting, I had only got one bite on the eight inch NLBN. The fish just didn't get buttoned, but it seemed like a bunch of other anglers had found it because it's one second it was just me and Christina, and then the next second there were probably 10, 11 other anglers fishing this school. Up on something. I think it's a shark. Babe! Definitely feels like a shark. So I don't think we got a tarpon. I think we got a shark. I dropped the lure to the bottom and uh, 
bounced it a couple times. And then it got really tight and I was like, oh, am I snagged on bottom? And I pulled on it a little bit and then it started running. It's like, oh, I probably got a shark. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Lemons have a second dorsal fin, like right here. There's so many species that like look similar to this. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, I got the bite I had been looking for. Hooked up on a big freaking tarpon. Oh my God, he's going nuts. Oh my God, he's going nuts. Oh my God, my heart's racing. Oh my God, my heart's racing. Oh my God, that's insane. That's so insane. Yeah, so do me a favor. You see the dial? Yeah. So on the dial, if there was a right arrow, press the right arrow. That's gonna bring up ISO. Turn the ISO up. It'll make it brighter. On the dial, there's a what? Oh my God, guys, this fish is angry. Just come close to me, babe. So turn the ISO up to like 400. Yeah, if you can. Oh my God, this is a massive fish. This is a massive fish, it did jump. Oh my God, that was crazy, wasn't it? Came off right there. Yeah, hook came out. <sighs> Just like that, that tarpon we've been chasing came off. A lot of work for that one bite, but we got him, we got a bunch of jumps out of him, we got a good fight out of him. Maybe in the next couple minutes we can hook one more. So that, that is tarpon fishing. You cast and you cast and you cast. I probably, I don't know, have five or six hours just today of casting. Finally got a bite. You know, there's like a bunch of anglers here, only one other tarpon hooked. And uh, after we got a bunch of jumps out of him, had him in the first trough, he comes off. Um, and that, it is what it is. I was telling Christina, um, typically w the, when you first hook up and the tarpons jump in freaking out, that's when you lose them. Not when they're kind of closer in the trough. Typically, like once you get a good hook set and they're in there, I thought I got a good hook set, got a bunch of jumps out of them, but eventually the hook just ripped out in the first trough and we weren't like, very close to landing him. Typically, we, we probably had another five, 10 minutes of battling with him in the trough, trying to land him. So 
awesome to see. Um, you know, it's been the first tarpon I've hooked all year this year, so hopefully we get one, but just, you know, I, I feel at least happy that I got to see one, got to set the hook on one and put one in the air. After I licked my wounds from that big tarpon, the sun was pretty much already below the horizon and we needed to get off the beach because they close those beaches in that area. But I couldn't help but notice one young angler was down the beach hooked up to a big tarpon and so I decided to send Christina to the truck with all the gear and I was gonna go help try help this kid try and land this tarpon because he was so low and landing these fish solo is next to impossible. It's terrible for them and it's not safe for an angler. I didn't have my camera equipment on me, but I was able to get someone to take a cell phone video. So here's that fish. It was this guy's first tarpon off of the beach. So I felt super lucky to be able to do that for him and be there for that moment. So months have gone by now and I've been unable to accomplish my goal. I actually failed so miserably that I didn't even land a tarpon from the beach this year. Something that I've never failed to do when chasing these guys. Man, I feel humbled and strangely appreciative because I really did get to thinking that this is just such a unique thing to get to do and I feel exceptionally lucky to be able to do it. it makes me think back to all the memories, all of the times that I've spent doing this with good friends and Y'all, I actually want to share with you guys some old footage from last season. Uh, it's one of my favorite days of fishing, fishing with a bunch of my good buddies on the beach, doing this exact same thing and being actually extremely successful. So, enjoy. Oh, oh, ah! I'm about to get smoked by a wave, bro. You gotta- Oh my god, dude. Ah! That might be my biggest one. Go no, grab the other, Gil. I got it. Yeah? Are you sure? Hooks out. All right. My hand's coming out. I'm grabbing the tail. Here. Mm. Wave back up, back up, back up. Hell yeah! Swimming out here, boy neck deep and bull shark infested wall. Yeah. Gotta keep them in the water. It's good for them. Keep all that air in their gills. Sure. They don't get beat up on the beach. She's taking off. Is she? God. Well, she kicked my butt enough. Oh, shit, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, man. Fenton's but. <laughs> Got the smoke. Nick, can you come grab the rod? Woo -hoo -hoo! Tarpon rodeo out here. You got a wave. That's what it's all about, man. That is dope. That is dope. I'm gonna. Okay. Awesome, man. The fish just blew up right there. Get that release? Hell yeah. You guys are always blowing me up asking what rods and reels I'm using, so I'm gonna go over that in this video for this particular fishery. Right here, I have a custom rod. The blank is a Calstar 900M. I've had this rod for probably 12 years now, used it for a lot of different stuff. The rod's slightly cut down, it's actually like an eight foot eight, but it is pretty much my favorite rod for a mix of being able to cast far, but also be able to put enough heat on big tarpon because big surf rods, 10, 11 foot long rods, you really can't, don't get as much leverage and you fight tarpon for way too long when you're fighting them. And sometimes tarpon in those long fights end up dying. So I like a big heavy rod like this, really no longer than nine foot, nine six, um, so you can subdue them faster. Real, we're rocking either advanced all 200 or 250. No smaller than that. I don't like fishing advanced all 150 or anything like 6,000 size because those big tarpon, again, will fight themselves to exhaustion. So I need something big enough to be able to subdue them. 40 pound braid or 50 pound braid, and then no less than 80 pound leader. 
you can fish 50 and 60 and you're gonna get plenty of bites and you might even land some tarpon. But for me, I'm chasing the fish of a lifetime and I've been frayed off with 80 pounds so many times. So I'm not gonna fish any less than 80 pound fluorocarbon. I have buddies that fish 125 pound liter for these things. For my lighter setup, when I'm not targeting tarpon, I've really, really been liking this new reel. Penn Authority 4500. I have that spooled with 20 pound braid so it casts like a dream. And I'm fishing a Shimano Talavera inshore rod. It's an eight foot, medium heavy action, really light tip, the little NLBN three inch on it. And again, video sponsored by NLBN. If you guys wanna pick up any of these baits, code Ryan15 is gonna save you guys 15% off. <laughs> well look, you have at least 300 yards of line out right now. How much do you think I have left? Uh, not much. A <laughs> hundred? Uh, maybe a hundred. I think there's a, a large toothy critter out there that might like a tarpon snack. Mm. Poke him in the butt, he's swimming out. Move your hand. Oh my god. Well, Vic, it is what it is. Nah, uh, we're gonna show stop. He's got to be powerful. I mean, he hasn't jumped once yeah. except the first one. Well, Vic? the splice is back in. I'd say we lost 400 yards of line, probably. Excellent. Gained it all back. Well, not all back, but. Yeah. You're getting a tarpon pump right now. Getting, you skipped the gym today, but you're working out some tarpon. Yeah. And you walked like 15 miles. It's that poon card, yo. Can't go bare like that. What do we got going on? Well, we see our fish right on top there. I don't know, like a hundred feet out past the surf. Get in there, Alec! He's right there! Don't make me send Johnny in. Here, just wait one more wave, Alec. One more wave. Easy, easy. Well, you didn't lose your line, but you lost your Smiths. Yeah. You can man. get a new pair of sunglasses. You can't catch a tarpon every day. You can actually swim away good. It was really, him, it, was, it was angry. I let him bite my thumb, and I was like, oh crap, I gotta let go, because I thought I was going with it. Dude, they lock down on your yeah. jaw, but they lock down on your hand. You guys see they're strong and braces, and they don't let go. There's a lot of stuff. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, nice tarpon. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let's go. On the new Ocean's Legacy Focal, the new Saltiga. Rocking some 50 pound braid, 100 pound leader, and the no live bait needed swim bait. Let's go, man. This is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> ah. mm. This is the painful part of the fight. The fish will stay out pretty far. I gotta try and put as much pressure on him as possible before a shark comes in and gets him or something like that. But it's uncomfortable for the fish and it's uncomfortable for me. <laughs> and he's just out there shaking his head, getting real angry. You guys can't see it on the GoPro because he's really far away, but I can see him just up on top splashing. I might not have him hooked the best. He might be hooked a little bit weird, but 
doing my best to get him in as fast as possible so he's healthy to swim off to it. Could I hand this to one of you? I'm gonna go out and grab the fish. Right. It's just bad for him to take him out of the water. Yeah, just hold on. Put up the bail. That wire, just flip it up. See the wire? Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. All right, let's get him out. We gotta revive him. Come on, bud. Let's go. Oh, come on. I don't want you not healthy before you leave. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him by the tail. Really want to make sure he's good. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That was awesome. Whew. I love beach fishing. I love putting myself out of my comfort zone and sometimes I love attempting things that may not actually come to fruition. Again, y'all can save 15% off with my code Ryan15 at no live bait needed this weekend only. I really think you guys are gonna enjoy some of these baits, so do yourself a favor and pick some up. And I will see you guys in that next video. Later.